Um, <laughs> happy Tuesday. Um, it's officially April, which is kind of insane. Um, and so it is, of course, time for a monthly TBR. Um, right now I am in the middle of Fellside by Hammer Carey. I had thought that this was going to be a sequel to, uh, The Girl with All the Gifts, which was very popular last year. Um, and I'm excited because I'm not sure that it is, like it still could be, but maybe it could be something totally different. Um, right now I'm about a hundred pages in, um, this was very kindly sent to me by Orbit and I've been looking forward to reading it. Um, so hopefully I will be finishing this in the next day or so. Um, as far as what I'm reading right now, aside from Fellside, I have a copy of Perfect State on my Kindle and, um, Brandon Sanderson's Shadow of Self for, uh, my audiobook. And I'm, I'm working on a Mario puzzle while I listen to it. Um, I have one rollover from last year, or last month, last year. Words are hard. Um, and that is Paladin of Souls by Lois McMaster Bujold. Just, it was one of those things at the end of my month got really derailed. Um, so I will be reading this sometime this month. I have The Parable of the Sower by Octavia Butler. I read her Kindred, which is right there, um, a couple months ago and really liked it. And so I wanted to pick up more of her stuff. Um, she's always been somebody who I've wanted to read all of her works and I just haven't actually done it yet. So it seemed like a good, a good opportunity um, particularly as I had just read Kindred to kind of roll with that. I have the second book in the Magician's Trilogy by Lev Grossman. That is the Magician King. Uh, this is a series that kind of plays off of the idea of a portal fantasy like Narnia, Narnia specifically. Um, but all of the people in it are just terrible. Um, it's very, very well written, very fun to read, but all of the characters are just terrible people. I have Tooth and Claw. This is one of the maybe one or two Joe Walton books that I haven't read. Um, and I'm really looking forward to it. It's supposed to be um, kind of a, a Regency era inheritance story, right? Like somebody dies and they're figuring out what to do with their, with their stuff. Um, except for all of the characters are dragons. <laughs> I've heard really good things. Um, I suspect that it's going to be quirky and just like really interesting to read. Joe Walton is fantastic, somebody who I really, really like all of her work. So this is on my monthly to do. Um, in the same vein, I have Mary Robinette Kowal's uh, Glamour in Glass. This is the follow up book to her Shades of Milk and Honey. Um, this actually follows the same characters, so that'll be interesting to see um, what exactly it is that she's going to do with it. I have The Tropic of Serpents. Uh, this is the last book on my list. This is by Marie Brennan. And it is, I think, it's either the second or the third memoir by Lady Trent book. If it's the third, I'm, I have the second one over there somewhere. Um, but I wanted to film this before I left for work today. Um, and <laughs> I've really enjoyed these. These are um, about a woman who she's supposed to be a lady in like in high society, but she basically just wants to be a naturalist and study dragons. And so these are kind of how she becomes a one of the foremost dragon naturalists in society. Um, in my head, she is definitely voiced by Kate Mulgrew. <laughs> Um, so that's what I'm going to be reading this month. Uh, let me know what you're reading, if you have read any of these, if there's anything you'd love to see a review of. Um, you know the drill. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I hope you're having a happy reading week. I'll talk to you later. Bye!